Hey guys, it's Alexander Williamson here with an unboxing. Today we have an unboxing from uh, H2O Plants, Water Plants. Justin Spall, owner there. Uh, you may have seen him in other videos. He has a channel. He is a aquascaper extraordinaire, botanical culturist extraordinaire. He's just an extraordinary guy, and he's been patient with me. Um, I've cut the seams on this just because uh, I didn't want to have to fiddle with that on tape. But I told him that I was going to be in an aquascaping contest with uh, Dustin's Fish Tanks. We got my aquascaping set up here, and uh, he sent me just... An incredibly generous and awesome box of stuff so uh, let's take a look at it here they've got um, an invoice essentially that's gonna let me know what I have there's also a coupon for uh, doing the whole uh, aquarium box which is like a monthly random awesome aquarium stuff thing here so there's a code for five bucks off and no shipping then there's the invoice uh, with the plants that I got as well as the other stuff and then beyond all that there is also a care sheet for the plants uh, that he sent so I have some plants that need co2 some plants that that don't require co2 and then also some hardscape that he sent out and I wasn't sure what to expect but um, this was another thing that I needed so these are lead weights that are fish safe um, I can take like pliers and cut them in half, but that lets you anchor sometimes like delicate plants. Like I need Kabamba to be in this aquascape over here and I need it to, uh, you know, maybe two or three to, to appear like little pine trees. And, uh, this stuff is great for that. You can bend it right around and you can also get two out of them. So there's 10 in here. I think it's like four bucks. So it's a good deal. Um, you can also use fishing weights, but they leach the actual <laughs> dangerous lead for your fish so I don't know especially with crustaceans in the tank I wouldn't do that but uh, then we've got here uh, some cups of uh, right here we've got the homolomina uh, saccadeu uh, which is just a beautiful this is the south uh, southern variety and this one is from Borneo it likes a pH of like 6 to 7.5 ideally medium light it's a medium hard to take care of looks like it came with nice roots and everything i mean it's just bursting in here with life so i need to get that into an aquarium stat um so that's the first one then we've got some uh let's see what is this looks like uh rikia rikia fluitan so we've got some moss here and uh Let's take a look at that. This one is uh, easy to take care of. It forms thick mats. It smells really grassy, um, but it's basically uh, like a moss um, that that uh, just forms like a thick layer, and you can put it wherever. It looks like it's been trimmed a little heavily, so uh, that's all good, though. We'll just wash that probably a little bit before we put it in the tank. But for my scaping, that's going to look killer on uh, some of those stones to make them look a little more aged. So let's keep digging through here. All right, he's got bubble wrap, so everything is so professionally done here. Um, and then, whoa, exploding with plants. So here we've got, man, that is heavy. That is heavy. So he's got a sealer, clearly. Uh, very professional in that sense where he seals off so the moisture stays in there. No contaminants are going to be in there. Um, and then basically his tanks. So this is a clump, the 3x3 three three inch Christmas moss. It's not mounted to anything, um, and that's just fine. Uh, but this is such a great start. You could break this up into 20 pieces, honestly, and start growing it. Uh, it grows in a very nice, um, like, uh if you've ever seen, of course, you have evergreen trees or something. It has nice uh, fronds to it, kind of. The, the the moss structure you'll actually see has, it'll branch out from here. It definitely benefits from CO2. You'll see little uh, little bits of color and, and more detail. Uh, you have to be careful because moss's job in nature is to basically gather nutrients uh, and 
kind of make mats out of it. So maybe using like a little toothbrush or something like that, or just like a um, turkey baster to puff water on it to keep it clean if you need to, uh, of algae and things like that is another uh, good idea. So then we've got uh, Limnophilia aromatica. This one I'm really stoked about. It's gonna be going into my personal tank over there, the uh, Aquascape tank. I'll, that I'll pan over to at the end of this, but just a beautiful plant. Uh, it also has a nice smell, so uh, hence the name. That's another Southeast Asian plant, and this is the three stem quantity. Looks like they've been grown in highlight and CO2. Uh, all these plants, pretty much, I think that I ordered, uh, or that he sent, I should say. Here's a, a red uh, tiger lotus. It's a small plant with three leaves. And it's got nice color already, purple, crimson, uh, very nice. And uh, looks like it's coming out of the bulb with still lots of nutrients to come from. So I'll plop that in the tank with a little bit of room to grow upward and uh, see what happens. It's usually a really beautiful plant. Moving on, we've got Anubis uh, bartiri, or bartiri. Uh, this is also known as gold coin Anubis, Anubius, uh, and it is a beautiful one. It's out of Africa. It's a low light, slow grower like most Anubius. Not quite as slow as some of the other like Nana Petite or Petite Nana, um, but another great plant. It looks like the leaves he's got, you know, they've got nice striations on them, healthy looking. The roots aren't covered in muck, so it almost looks like i mean it's been cleaned thoroughly that's nice and professional plus it tells you the name on each package which if you're new at stuff that's always a good thing you know right so then here's some flame moss this is a southeast asian moss it's found everywhere from india to japan and the philippines all over the place uh you can see here it has been it has been netted to a uh, little plastic disc or maybe it's might be clay, um, but basically it's a plug of it on stone. Oh, it's stone. So yeah, it's probably like a clay firing or a piece of stone that's been uh, cored and cut. And this is probably, I don't know, silver dollar size, something like that, a little over an inch across. And I'm sure when I put this in water, uh, it's going to come up. Flame moss grows in uh, nice patterns vertically up towards the top of your tank and just it's it's a really pretty moss uh it'll be nice to have the contrast of all these different mosses so then we've got a potted plant which resembles kind of like parsley or something along those lines this is a uh, mini bulbitis hedulatii deformis um, sometimes people uh, call it by other names but basically in its water state uh it, it it's a nice little uh fern and it it can be propagated easily, it can be grown in low light. It's just a nice multi purpose uh, plant, you know. It's, um, it's also from uh, Southeast Asia as well, so kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that one. Um, then moving on here, we've got uh. Some buse, love some buse. So buse philandra, named after Alexander the Great's horse. Um, green, wavy, one pot plant, as it says. You can see here, it's all ni everything's nice and moist. Everything came wrapped great in bubble wrap. Just awesome uh, customer service and the invoice. Everything was super painless, so I'm really giving this guy props for the way he's running his company. It's a lot better than other folks I've come into contact with in the past. But this is just a nice wavy uh, boost uh, plant, and it's in some rock wool right now. I'll probably bust that out of there. Maybe put that in my Iwagumi style uh, aquascape and uh, allow it. It's kind of a low, slow grower, which is what I'm looking for. Here we've got some uh, Nana Petite. Uh, let's see how it's... Uh, this is considered the... Anubius Nana Petit uh, medium, so it's quarter inch, three leaves or bigger, uh, much more than three leaves in there. This stuff doesn't get a whole lot bigger than this. I've got one that's 10 years old that's maybe this big, so they stay, they stay small. These roots are nice and healthy and long. Um, 
they look like they have been maybe aquaponics, I'm not sure, or in a, in a substrate of some sort rather than um, gravel or being floated. Uh, so they still have the light color, whereas you get start to get this green, um, long, uh, kind of rigid thing that happens with some uh, petite nano when you get it that's a little bit older, um, and that makes it kind of harder to deal with. You can always cut those, but I don't like cutting roots on plants if I can help it. Here we've got another version of the uh, Aromatica, the, um, the uh, Limnophilia, and it says that it's the mini version, so we got three stems of that, so that's exciting. All right, so lastly, we've got the big box, and this was a total surprise. I thought I was going to get a little piece of stone. This is all bubble wrapped. A little piece of stone, um, but he has included Sirius stone that's just got gorgeous striations in it, and beautiful formations, uh, love it, uh, as well as pieces of dragonstone to work with, needs to be cleaned, no worries, um, but just, I mean, look at that, there's a whole box of it here that he sent me, um, of little chips and pieces to play with, I think it's gonna clash too much with my other scape, but, uh, I'm excited to, to have some of this, and also to just kind of play with, uh, maybe I'll do a new miniscape. It might be time for a new tank, guys. So, uh, lastly, wrapped very nicely in more bubble wrap. Man, this guy is he's got everything compact, professionally done. I had tracking right to my door, so I knew when it was coming. Uh, but he got some spider wood here, um, Southeast Asian. Nice and hard. It I don't know if it has been soaked in water yet. It feels really dense, so a lot of times this stuff will sink pretty well anyways, and you'll wait it a little bit. But this is going to be just absolutely perfect, just like that other one over there, for some sort of little bonsai tree with this root system here and the gnarls and things like that. So just awesome. That's just a random pick from him. So, man, I could not be happier with all of this spread here. Um... I'm going to leave the rocks in the box with the fox and the locks, um, but I'm going to get some of these plants into water ASAP. Um, going to bring some of them for my aquascape uh, at the competition tomorrow. And uh, let me get the light out of here, show you the little spread. So this is just... So kind of them. I want to thank them so much, and definitely, definitely, I will be buying stuff and recommending uh, them as a company in the future. So awesome, awesome there. I'm just going to show you this this uh, scape here, and then we've also got. Let me move past here. I've got all sorts of plants getting ready for tomorrow. So this scape is a little more jungly than normal, um, but I've got just all sorts of stuff, and I'm happy now that I'm not going to have to use some of the Anubias that is a little chewed up and stuff like that, so um, also I know people get dizzy, I'm going to cover this, but in this tank here, we've got, this is kind of my Aquascape high-tech tank right now, it's not rimless or fancy in that respect, but it's been grown with CO2 and ferts and iron, and uh, this is where like the aromatica will definitely be going in the background it'll have that nice red color i'm looking for that red hue uh it'll go well with the rotunda uh philia uh rotala rotunda philia uh, vietnam pinks and then also uh you can see the other like uh, temple compacta plants i've got a few other rotala species some mayaka and then see here here's another gold coin anubius that's hanging out in there um and also we've got penintifada uh we've got um pogo stemmons helferi and a lot of crypt undulata that are doing well i'm going to be yanking those out uh tonight and also some of these snails that um, are translucent as well as the red ram's horn snails. And then I've got my blue shrimp in there. So I am so excited to have these plants. A couple of them like the tiger lo lily lotus. What is it? Tiger uh, lily? 
Yes. Uh, we'll be going into this higher tech tank. Some of the taller, maybe, maybe actually it could go into this tank because this tank has really good light and really high room to grow. I just have to take the top off. And then over here, this tank has been raided also, but you can see I'm floating my Anubius. Just kind of boosted everything with uh, Ferts and all that, but this, all of these additions he sent are gonna be so incredibly welcome. So thank you very much, H2O Plants. Uh, that's water plants, H2O plants.com. Uh, check them out online on Instagram, beautiful pictures. And uh, the other thing that I would urge you to do is uh, try out that aquarium box thing too. If, if you like surprises and monthly and you're on a budget, it's just a nice way to do that. Um, and thanks again so much to the folks at H2O Plants, which I know is Justin Spall particularly and his green thumb beyond belief. So I really appreciate it. Super awesome plants came this way and... Uh, yeah, so it, it I, I'm just kind of really, really happy right now that this all came. Uh, Dustin from Dustin's Planted Tanks is in town, so we'll all be working on this um, and going to buy a couple more plants too for the aquascaping contest. But it's just a crazy weekend and a lot of good things all arrived at once. And uh, just, I really appreciate it. So thanks to you guys. And I, for my my uh, viewers, definitely check out their website. They've got some really rare, hard to find stuff and it comes in and out all the time. So it's always changing, uh, but check them out. So take care of yourselves, take care of your tanks, your fish, those around you and uh, swim on. I'll talk to you later. Uh, <laughs> take care, bye.